how, how do you think today's gonna go? Well, you know, top game today, and we we actually improving, you know. We're missing like four or five players, you know. But yeah, these players, you know, each and every one of them, we trust them, and we believe they are good enough to play, you know. So I think it's gonna be a good game. What do you think about the England game? Well, I I, I cried. I mean, I live in this country. This country made me who I am today. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people going around, you know, racially abusing the England players, which I think that is uncalled for. These people, these players have the pride of this country. You know, they have families. It doesn't matter the skin color. White, black, we we'll see equal, we we'll see the same. When they put that white shirt, they're representing you, so you have to respect them. You know, but it's, you go again next year, next year, I reckon England gonna win the World Cup after this. And how does it make you feel as a black man um, in England, a black footballer in England, and how England or some of some of the supporters have responded like that? Well, it's embarrassing and it goes everywhere. But I, I personally, I think, you know, like nobody is safe. If a things like that is happening to professional footballers, what about us that are semi-pros, you know what I mean? There must be something the government or the FA can do about it. Racism is not allowed. Every single day, we take the knee for racism. And it still happens. Just because you don't get your way, that doesn't mean you should discriminate, you know, because you're not happy for what happened. That is disgusting. That's embarrassing. Racism have no room anywhere. We, f we don't feel safe, you know. But hopefully the government going to do something about it. And have you ever experienced it in a football game? Or? Oh, yeah, I do. A um, couple of times, you know. First time when I first come here in this country, I do experience racism. But now, you know, everybody knows us, you know, and there is not a lot of racism in Plymouth. I don't, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not across that. I'm, 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 I have friends that are a lot of, you know, white, blacks, you know what I mean? It happens, you know, but we kick it out, you know? We're trying to, we're trying everywhere to kick it out. We're going to kick it out, we keep fighting, you know? We got it and we will have it. It's fine. Yeah. Big game, big players. Big fucking game, innit? Let's get in there. Holla! Say where we wanna go. Win every fucking single thing. Alright? Are you with me? Yeah. Right, in 3, 2, 1, we're gonna shoot. You ready? 3, 2, 1, shoot! Let's go!
Mervis going there? Once they got the ball, rush it. You rush the player, don't give him time. You don't go back there and each and every one of you play with your fucking hands. It doesn't matter how many games we lose. It doesn't matter how many mistakes we do. It doesn't matter what happens to the, to the game. Leave the referee alone. Leave your teammates alone and play for yourself. The only thing I want to hear from each and every one of you is what? Encouragement. We can come back. We can come back. To be fair, you can see when we attack them, they look poor at the back. I reckon with my best front players, we will win them all day long. Uh, the first goal was a mistake by a keeper. Second goal, another mistake. Third one, another mistake. And then it does happen. Obviously, you have to make a mistake to score a game in every in every game of football. But yeah, we know it's going to happen. Now we're going to go against um, Plimstock on Friday, which is our next game. And we have big games coming too. So, you know, it's one of those games. And 